Hello everybody, it's Martin from East Coast Paintball and today we're going to be talking about the Shocker Amp. As you see this amp is in a beautiful pewter finish with a matching barrel front. Uh, the amp is a bit of a redesign from the prior generation, the Shocker XLS. Uh, it carries over some of the tried and true features of that XLS platform, but then adds some nice updates and nice touches. So let's go ahead and break it down. First off, this gun is light. I think it's something about something like one pound, 12 ounces. One of the lightest guns that I've ever thrown around. Uh, the barrel system that it comes with out of the box is a two-piece Freak XL system. Freak XL system takes these eight inch uh, barrel inserts and those are available in all kinds of different sizes to match the paint that you're firing on any given day. By default, it comes with a 689. A great barrel system, tried and true. The marker itself has a lot of wonderful features. So you're taking a look at the low rise clamping feed neck with a pretty beefy adjustable knob there for your different hoppers. And the bolt, you just go ahead and twist this back cap and the bolt comes out. Now this bolt system was a redesign from the prior XLS model. This is more in line with how, uh, say, a Planet Eclipse Gamma Core would work. Uh, super high efficiency. You're talking about 110 PSI operating this marker. Uh, one of the lowest I've seen in a while. And you just go ahead and push it back in, twist that cap, and bolts back in and ready to rock. You have the aluminum adjustable trigger here. You have the screw adjustable ASA, on off ASA. A little different than some of the others you see that rely on just like a push button or, um, or a lever. This one allows you to just go ahead and screw it in and out to turn the gas on or off. Uh, one of the other nice features about this marker is that there are no wires between the trigger frame and the body. If you pull these, uh, this screw, uh, this screw in the back here, you can just pull this whole uh, trigger frame away and you don't have to fiddle with any wires. What you can then do is you can just slide this back together or you can go ahead and put on the mech frame. That is uh, an additional component for sale and allows you to play instead of going electronic for the day with a stock amp, you can go mech. Uh, super bright LED on the back. See, it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it there on the camera, but it gives you a good readout of uh, your balls per second, the mode you're in, your eyes, if they're on or off, your battery power, uh, even your version of the software that you're running as of that day. Uh, recess button so you don't accidentally hit it with your glove. It's all contained there on that back panel. Like I said, what else can you say about the amp? Super light in the hands, uh, fun to play with. I've taken it to the field a number of times. If you're interested in checking one of these out, hit us up at eastcoastpaintball.com and have a great day.